Hello. I have been racking my brains a little bit about a topic to talk about this week and I have to admit I've been a little down lately and in the honest in in the spirit of being honest and of growing together and sharing our honest experiences I thought that's just something that I would talk about rather than go about and 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 pull out something that makes me sound very intelligent or makes me sound very deep or that can can help somebody because those are all things that I care about um but but in today's truth and today's moment I think it's just important to share that no matter what people look like on social media and no matter what how many filters and how many cinematic modes on their phones they use like I'm using right now um life has tremendous ups and downs and we have to just figure out how to face them so as i i've been thinking about what's been weighing me down lately i think you know it's a few things one this you know starting the year with the new coronavirus variant with um omic on omic on omic i can't even say it my friends make fun of me all the time whatever um that thing again being afraid for yourself being afraid for your family is being afraid for your friends not being able to meet people being restricted all of that was just kind of like oh my god oh, is this still happening it's a lot in addition to that you know life still happens we have been um everyone around me is working on and struggling with their health a little bit and i don't know if that's something in the stars or if it's just all of us aging and it's 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 been hard coming coming to terms with our own midlife stories in addition to that we've got some of us have children we've got aging parents talk about being the sandwich generation my mom just left um san francisco to go back to india after being with me for 3 months and while i'm so happy to have had her for 3 months i've been living away from home for the last 20 something 30 years even and to have that time was so wonderful and it was so wonderful for my kids but it's also such a wake up call that a your parents are aging b parents are not perfect and c that you're a fucking grown up and you need to stop blaming them for everything that went on in your lives it's it's a lot it's a lot that comes at you that comes at you all all at once so in these in these moments and 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 i'm sure you can tell i'm a pretty generally a pretty energetic up and about type of person but i'm also learning the value of sitting with the with the pain and not necessarily feeling like i need to get up and do something and 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 fix it right um and that's new i was very much a fix it type of person and i think about what i need in these moments um I love the big stuff. Don't get me wrong. I love if there was a celebration or if there was a vacation, if there was something big to look forward to. That's that's always a spirit lifter, no question. Um but very often in our everyday life, it's the it's the small moments that have to that have to lift us up. And for me, I know that that's music. You start really really small. You put on a song that it either mirrors and will help you express what you're going through or might even put you in a in another mood i like movement i've talked about this a lot i've been doing yoga for a long time i love to dance and after this video i'm definitely going to be doing that so keeping up my daily practice of movement does help to shift energy it does help to shift what those hard moments can be touch for me touch is very important so i'm squishing the hell out of everything i can in fact hold that thought and this is my regular dutch muffin yes um and you know animals have if you're lucky enough to have one or nature has has tremendous tremendous healing properties when i walk outside and i stand next to a tree i truly become a tree hugger now i remember how how little i am and how little this stuff matters in the grand scheme of things i mean i'm standing next to redwood trees in the bay area that have been around for thousands of years and they're like really honey what about it what about a midterm really so it's nice to get some perspective from being out in nature i'm crazy about animals i think they have deep beautiful intelligent souls and the more we can learn from them and learn to communicate with them the better off it'll be for all of us um <clears throat> sometimes the fight 
is hard. Sometimes the struggle and the effort to lift yourself out of this, out of this mode is hard. Um, and in those moments, I've learned, this was not something that I did innately, but I have learned to just sit and wait. Because somewhere, I believe that the universe wants to vibrate at a higher level. The universe vibrates with joy and with peace and with love. So if you quell the resistance and if you remain as neutral as you can, the messages will come through that will lift you to that, to that point. And it could be something as little as a butterfly floating through or you get an email from somebody you haven't thought about in a while but you're very fond of something some messages will come through the key is you have to be open to receiving them and i just said you know when we have um when you have those down moments it's kind of like fuck everything i don't even want to try i don't want to try and feel happy um and we get a little wedded to that sadness and you get a little wedded to, yeah, to that identity and and it's a little bit of a victim mindset as well and i think it's okay to let yourself feel the pain i think it's important to move through the pain in whatever way you can and then ultimately to remember that there is we got that going on uh, ultimately to remember that there just is a lot of joy to be had if you're willing to have it so i'm gonna leave this here and um, i'm happy to share how I'm, I'm continuing to work through this this phase that is calling for quiet in my life, that is calling for calm, um, and that is calling for introspection. Um, cheers, here goes. <laughs>